Today I'm cooking chicken anchovy stock. This broth has a delicious combination of the chicken natural sweetness and the anchovy subtle salty flavor. It will be very delicious in soup and gravy dishes. This recipe yield 2.5 liters of stocks. The ingredients needed are 900 grams of chicken carcass and bones, 4 liters of water, 30 grams of cilantro roots, 200 grams of yellow onions, 250 grams of white radish, 200 grams of carrots, half tablespoon of white peppercorn, half tablespoon of salt, 20 grams of dry anchovies, wash and clean, and 50 grams of garlic. The full list of ingredients is in the Seymour link. Switch on the heat to medium. In a pot of water, submerge and blanch the chicken carcass for 10 minutes. This is to remove the impurity and blood in the chicken. By doing this, our stock and the dish we are using it for will be clear instead of cloudy. Meanwhile, prepare the rest of the ingredients. Wash the peppercorn and add them into an empty tea bag. This keep them in one place when we make the stock. Peel the skin of the garlic until each clove can be seen. Remove the tip of the carrots and cut them into medium-sized chunk. Set them aside. Remove the stem of the radish, peel it, and cut them into medium-sized chunk as well. Set them with the carrot and set aside. Peel and wash the onions, cut into chunks and set aside. Now our stock ingredients are ready. Let's check on our blanched chicken. Wow, a lot of blood and impurity have been extracted from them. Remove the chicken with tongs so we can discard the water later. Switch off the heat. Wash the chicken thoroughly to remove any impurities stuck on them and set aside. Let's make the chicken anchovy stocks. Set the heat to medium high. Add all 4 liters of water into the stock pot. Immerse the chicken in the stock pot. Add in the washed anchovy, all the salt, cilantro roots, peppercorns in the tea bag, whole bulbs of garlic, and the cut vegetables, carrots, radish, and onions. Stir to mix to evenly distribute them. Cover the pot. Bring it to a boil. This will take up to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, reduce the heat to low and set the time to 2.5 to 3 hours for the stock to extract all the sweetness, flavor, and fragrance of the chicken and ingredients. Cover the pot and let it continue to cook. After 3 hours, open the lid. It smells so good. Give it a stir. See, the stock has extracted all the flavors. It is quite clear and light. Switch off the heat. Cover the pot and let it to cool down. This will take a few hours. As it is, the stock can be used for soup dish immediately, but I will keep it for cooking within a week. Once it had completely cooled, usually the big blob of oil will form like this. Use a large spoon to carefully scoop the surface of the oil out. This is optional as it will make the stock less oily. Next, remove the ingredients with the slotted ladle so we are only left with the liquid stock. Alright, all done. I would not consume the chicken and vegetable as most of their essence have been extracted. Strain the rest of the stock to remove the sediment. It can be stored in a clean, airtight container for up to a week in the fridge. It can also be frozen to be used within 2 months. See, the chicken and showy stock is very clear, nutritious and delicious. Perfect as a soup base for your next meal. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.